everyone, I'm Melissa Caverly for Peter Greenberg Worldwide. Right now I am overseas in South Africa in the beautiful Southern Cape. And the first thing I did when I got off the plane was turn my phone to airplane mode. When roaming charges add up, they add up quickly and sometimes without you even realizing it. So here are four steps to make sure that you don't come back to a phone bill that costs more than your airplane ticket. Step one, check for apps that are constantly using data. While location tracking apps are generally a convenience, they can also mean you are using data constantly. Before you leave for your trip, make sure you take note of any apps you have running in the background and disable any that use location tracking or regularly require syncing, such as email. Step two, consider putting your phone on airplane mode. When you're in airplane mode, there is no chance of using the network's cell phone or text messaging plans. By setting your phone to airplane mode, you can ensure that your phone will not receive calls or data through your provider's network, while still being able to access the web through Wi-Fi. Even if the place you are staying charges for Wi-Fi, it will more likely be a huge discount to what you'd be paying for the roaming data charges. Step three, find spots with free Wi-Fi. Why pay when you don't have to? Many popular locations boast free Wi-Fi where you can go take care of any business you might have. Very often you can find this service in cafes or chain restaurants. Step four, download an app that allows you to make calls over Wi-Fi. For those times that you don't really need to make a call or send a text, there are several apps such as Skype or Viber that allow you to chat, text, and even send pictures over the web, which can circumvent any roaming charges. So follow these four steps and you can put all the money you saved on your smartphone plan into your next trip.